it's great to greet you this Easter season. Let me ask you this question. How often have you said, now what? Especially when life takes an unexpected turn. Or when you've missed your exit or your connecting flight, now what? Or in those more significant moments when you've lost a job or lost a loved one and asked, now what? As the world tries to recover from a global pandemic, but still faces economic instability and political turmoil. Now what? The closest followers of Jesus might well have asked, now what? As they watched Jesus die on a cross, or as a stone sealed the borrowed tomb, and as word came from Mary that the tomb was empty, now what? But as we read the Gospels in the book of Acts, we find the answers to their now what moments. These four answers can shape our thinking and guide our response to our own now what moments today? Firstly, now watch. Jesus appeared to his followers at least 10 times after his resurrection. And no doubt with each appearance, the word spread among his disciples and they began to watch fervently for Jesus to show up. When life is uncertain, the God who is certain shows up. Still at work, still faithful to his promises, now watch for his faithfulness to his promises in your life. Now what? Secondly, now share. The Apostle John was a witness to the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus. He lived through the biggest now what moments of any follower of Jesus, and then saw the risen Christ, broke bread with him, and watched him ascend into heaven. And what did he do? He shared what he saw and experienced so that others could know and believe. If ever people need to know where to find hope, it's now. As the Salvation Army, we are a people who are giving hope today. And now is the time to proclaim what we have seen and heard, that others might believe in Jesus, the source of hope. Now what? The third answer is now wait. After his resurrection, Jesus instructed his disciples, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, the Holy Spirit, Acts chapter 1, verses 4 to 6. But how we hate to wait. We live in a culture of instant gratification, but the instructions are to wait. Waiting is not necessarily a passive approach to life. As we wait, we prepare for what God is going to do. Now what? Finally, now pray. In the days following Jesus' ascension, the disciples gathered to pray. And while they were together at Pentecost, the promised Holy Spirit came. The Spirit filled and equipped them for what God would do in and through them as they took the message of the gospel from Jerusalem to Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Sometimes it takes a now what moment to bring God's people to their knees in prayer. This Easter season, let us unite in prayer asking God for a fresh wind of his spirit to move across his army, inspiring us for mission. As followers of Jesus, we know what to do in the now what moments of life. We watch, we share, we wait, and we pray. May God bless you this Easter, filling you with joy and strength for the days ahead and every now what moment. God bless you and happy Easter. <laughs>